Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Mike here at Game From Scratch. And as of yesterday, Dally 2 is available for us unwashed masses. Now, if you haven't been living under a rock, you've probably seen Dally 2 in action over the past year. It's been uh, developed by OpenAI. It is basically artificial intelligence creating art based off text. Uh, a lot of people have had access to it, but it's just we, the general public, have not. Well, that has just changed. So if you want to go ahead and check out Dally 2, you can do so, and you can do so for free. Now, be aware, it's available at OpenAI.com. You do need to give them a telephone phone number, which they will send a pin to. So you do need to be a real person and they're going to have some information on you if you want to check this out. But if you do that, they will give you 50 credits. I'll also look at what it costs to buy more and so on. So the best way to really explain Dally is to show Dally in action. Now, this is the last one I just did, and it's the worst one I've ever done. This was a superhero with the power of asparagus, and I'm not really that impressed with the end results. But let's look at this, say, for, let's say you wanted to come up with uh, a concept design for, say, a new new game from scratch logo. So I need to have um, a floppy disk uh, in pixel art style. So let's say I want to use this to generate my new logo. My old logo is kind of crap. I'm not the world's best artist. And you're going to be wondering, okay, is Dali going to be taking over the world of art? And Sorta, of, yeah, but not really. It's going to be a new tool in the uh, pocket of artists that are good, uh, where I think people are going to struggle against Dali. It's the same kind of people that would use like 99designs or Fiverr. So if you want to do uh, concept art or logo work, or you're just kind of, um, you know, uh, spitballing ideas at this point in time, that's where Dali really shines. And some of the results that it comes up with are simply amazing. And then some of them are absolute crap, which is the nature of the beast when it comes to artificial intelligence. Now, by the way, this is not the only um, solution out there. There's another one that's gaining a lot of ground and you can check it out completely for free if you're willing to jump through a lot of hoops. I'll cover that one in a minute. Uh, but here you can see the results. There is my logo. And I got to admit, it's it's a floppy disk. It, it's better probably than the Game From Scratch logo. It would have saved me a lot of time in designing something like that. And then any one of these, you can actually create variations of them. Uh, and this will basically spit out new versions of it. Uh, you can refine it. You can erase little bits you don't like and have the AI work from there. So you do have some ability to actually tweak the end results. But you can see how this, if you needed to create, say, icon sets, uh, so you needed to make uh, pixel art icons of common things, you could really easily do that. And it's going to actually feed to one of the real flaws of DALI, in my opinion. And that is uh, it only generates 1024 by 1024 images. No idea why they chose that resolution. Uh, but the end results from DALI are all we square. Uh, and as I'm doing this, you're seeing some of the other options there. So there, it's basically spit through, generated some more examples out there. Uh, and any one of these, to be honest, could be used for sure for icon type stuff. Another thing, let's say you're doing some uh, concept art, um, a mecha uh, glad, gladiator, I don't even know how to spell this, fight in the future in anime style. All right, let's see what it does with that. So you can throw it some very, very specific results. I'll show you a couple of the ones I did in the past. The uh, thumbnail for this video, as is the case whenever we're using Dali, was generated using Dali. Now you may also be wondering, okay, with Dali, uh, do I own this stuff? And the answer is kinda, and we'll look at that again uh, in just a sec. Those details are available up above. I'll also show you the pricing details as soon as this one is done. But I can honestly say, if you're interested, check it out, throw the 50 throws at it. I do think, again, I can see an immediate use for a game developer of limited artistic skills to just spit out pixel art renditions of things that you need for icons. This thing is perfect for creating icons, but look what it just did. Like, it knows what mecha is. It knows what anime art style is. It does It does some pretty phenomenal results. I, I, I have to say, I, I'm impressed with what Dali does when you feed it weird things. Here I said, uh, this is a cyberpunk city being attacked by Godzilla in pixel art style. And look at the results it came up with. Like, those are... Those are Godzilla attacking a cyberpunk city in pixel art style. And then we got this one here... Uh, this is the one I used for the thumbnail here. This is a mech fighting a giant cyborg octopus in anime style. And this was the end result. And this is the one that honestly impressed me the most. Now, this is uh, far beyond my personal artistic ability. And it's got to give some artists, especially in this uh, abstract world style, uh, a little bit of 
a fear here to the, the, what it's capable of. And we can also do realistic style as well. We can do surreal. Um, let's do uh, a panda riding on a grizzly bear. And let's see what it does with that. So it gives you an idea of the kind of stuff you can do with Dali if you need to do some concept work, or even if you just need like, like pixel art backgrounds, it's really good at pixel art. I did a couple more in the, um, I did uh, a cyberpunk coffee shop was one of the ones I did earlier on. By the way, each one of these rows represents one of my credits being burned. And again, of all of the things I've ever done, uh, the asparagus superhero was by far the worst one uh, in terms of results. And another area where it is strangely terrible is it doesn't do text well. So I actually tried to do a game from scratch and it came up and spit out. It, it just, it literally can't do text. I don't know why. You would think that would actually be one of the easier things to do. But when it comes to AI, things that you think are, okay, so it's definitely doing uh, pixely or sorry, vectory graphic style in this case. I wanted more realistic. I'm not sure what actual string you'd send into it. And that's gonna be one of those interesting things for the future is the art of coming up uh, with uh, feeder strings for AI is actually going to be a new thing. So here's the words game from scratch written on a floppy disk. So I was trying to get it to just create me a logo. And as you can see, <laughs> Uh, Skemfat Grammy Sporogar. So I do not know why, uh, but it just cannot write words. Or that might be a limitation of it. This one I do like. It's definitely, again, if I was looking for a concept artwork or maybe some pixel art background for a scene, this is a cyberpunk coffee shop with robotic servers. And again, they're all decent. They're not amazing. And if you're an artist at home, you can sit there and go, well, yeah, I could do better than that. Yeah, but could you do it in eight seconds? That's the ultimate question here. So if you are looking for, um, again, uh, concept art, icon generation, background images, uh, you name it, that's what Dali really shines at. So in terms of credits, again, you do get 50 to start with. You can buy more if you're wondering, okay, how much is this going to cost me? 815 credits is 15 bucks US, which to be honest, pricing wise, pretty reasonable. So if we double that up, 150 linear pricing so far, yeah, 100% linear pricing, it seems which is strange. So there's no incentive to buy a bunch of credits. So um, yeah, 115 credits for 15 bucks is definitely, was it? Okay, I already forgot the price, but the, the pricing seems quite reasonable to me. Now, of course, you are going to be wondering a little bit about the licensing for sure. Uh, that is obviously of some importance. So let's go here and take a look at the terms. So you can generate um, images based on text inputs you provided. You may upload images to DALI and create generations from that upload. So you can actually send DALI an image to start from. Um, you are, you know, for any legal purposes, including for commercial use, means may you sell your rights to the generations you create, incorporate them into work such as books, websites, and presentations, and otherwise commercialize them. So yes, you can actually use the results you've created. Uh, you can buy credits, You no more, uh, no infringing or harmful use. So you can't slander people, do things that are illegal, etc. cetera. Uh, you grant them the right to use your prompts and uploads to improve their AI safety efforts and to uh, develop and improve AI technology, products, and services. Uh, prompts may be shared with and manually reviewed by a person uh, included by third-party contractors located around the world. Uh, so basically the text you send in, it, it, it can be used by them. In terms of the ownership, uh, to extend allowed by law to the extent allowed by law and as between you and open ai uh, you own your prompts and uploads and you agree that open ai owns all generations uh, so basically the end results uh, and you hereby make any necessary assignment for this open ai grants you the exclusive rights to reproduce and display such generations and will not resell generations that you have created or assert any copyright in such generations against you or your end users all provided that you comply with the terms and service uh, of our content policy uh, uh, and if you violate that, so you know the, the hateful things, then so on and so forth, you, you lose the right to use them. So basically, you own the text string you sent to them, although they do have the right to use that text string for AI training, etc. Uh, and they own the results that are generated. So in other words, the end image, but they grant you a license to use it, including commercially. So that is a pretty straightforward license. It seems quite fair. Um, I'm going to imagine this is going to be a, a legal uh, minefield at some point in time. It's just a strange world that way, especially because this is a network that's trained on a data set. And do they own 100% of that data set? So let's say it's trained off of, you know, 
300 million images, but it find out that say 100 of those images were copyright encumbered, uh, are you going to run into problems there? I'm sure there's going to be weird lawsuits down the road with this kind of technology, but their licensing seems reasonable. By the way, the other alternative that's out there, the one that is getting all of the press right now is Stable Diffusion. I was going to do a video on Stable Diffusion, to be honest, it, and it's very similar. Uh, you can actually download the data sets, and if you're comfortable with uh, Python and you have a beefy uh, GPU, uh, you can run this yourself on your own hardware. It's definitely a harder approach. Uh, there are a bunch of different forks and versions and such out there. I got to say straight out though, if you want to play around with one of them, DALI is the easiest to, to get access to as of now that it's released, at least for that first 50 images. Um, on top of that, there was also Galgan. Uh, I covered this way back. This was NVIDIA. GAN was a uh, Generational Adversarial Networks, I believe. This is another um, technology for creating this stuff. It was mostly for creating uh, landscapes and such. You basically painted on a canvas and it interpreted that into a landscape. Um, another uh, interesting project, it did get text to image in, in a later version. So you can describe it right there or you could basically seed it with a painted image and it would generate a real life result out of it. So this was the first one I really saw um, that kind of took the world by storm, but I think by far and away, uh, the, the Stable Diffusion and DALI have been the most mainstream and probably furthest along. Now, the one that's most interesting to me, though, and this was just announced at GTC a little bit, uh, about a week and a half back. They're also working NVIDIA Research on building, uh, using AI to build 3D objects. Now, that one is where all of a sudden artists need to start getting scared. If that actually happens uh, and those art assets that they generate are quality, then you see a lot of potential jobs getting threatened at this point in time. But for the most part, these tools end up being a complementary tool to an artist's toolbox. And the area where I see um, DALI uh, really hurting the market, the artists out there right now, is the areas things like 99designs where you're getting you're outsourcing logos and versions stuff like that fiverr etc so if you needed an icon set generated or concept art generated or a logo potentially well you could quite simply do it with something like dally now and get as good of or better results than you often get from those kind of services but i also know a lot of like legit artists out there despise services like 99design and 99designs and uh, fiverr etc it's kind of commoditization and um you know prostitution of their art form so uh, i don't know that this is going to make their world any worse or better uh but it is making uh art tools uh, definitely more accessible to the masses especially people like me with very little artistic talent but i'm curious what you think of dally etc uh now you can actually get your hands on and play around with it are you going to do so and if you do let me know what you think i'll talk to you all later goodbye